Hello everyone, this is Old Backpack from the Yankbush Squad, and this is our tennis on the How to Tank series. Look at that, a nice zoom in on our tennis. You see the little wavy effects on the uh, portal there, on the wall. Anyways, uh, this is about our tennis, and so when you think about our tennis, what is your role of the team? He is not a real tank. He is a bruiser. He mostly does damage. He, that's mostly because he provides almost no CC. His only CC is his swap at the E, and that's mostly used as an initiate, not as a peel. And when you are playing him, you should think about how to get pits. He is very similar to Stitches, in that he swaps, gets pits, and sets up a kill for your team. And let's stop right here and look at the team comps. For the allied team, it's Artanis, Falstad, Varian, Mafiri, and Jaina. A very balanced comp. Two warriors, Varian being the main tank, Artanis being the bruiser. With two DPS, one being range, one other being a mage, and from up here, very, very nice team comp. The opposing team comp, however, only has one tank, and in Viz, in Zeratul, they have a range DPS in, in Azebo, Rainer, and Kerazim. When you as Artanis need to ask yourself, who can I swap? And the answer there is pretty obvious, Azebo or Rainer. Both of them have no escapes. And if you were to put a swap on someone like Zeratul, he blinks out. Put a swap on Mont, he blinks out. And you just unnecessarily put yourself in danger. You should never actually aim for these characters during the swap. Doing so will actually kind of, you know, hurt you. And looking at that, you should need, need to realize who should, what should I do, and your job is to be on the back line and harassing those two heroes. Looking at the level 1 talents, we can see that Artanis put Season Marksman, which is a bit weird. This map has a lot of camps to clear and also capture. You want amateur opponent. Oh, nice swap attempt. Uh, he, missed the, he missed the opportunity, but good try because the Rainer is, as I said before, the primary target. But back to the talents, Artanis should want, uh, he should want to have amateur opponent. It's fantastic for clearing bosses, for clearing creeps, it's for difficult in camps, it's probably one of his best talents. Oh, right there is a, right there is a unfortunate swap. Oh, actually he even got, he almost got it. Wow, that was way too aggressive for him. <laughs> When you're Artanis, you can put someone up as Artanis, light stitches, can, can displace heroes. But displacing someone is only half of the work. You actually need to get displacement and damage behind you. Yes, there's false dead, false dead, he's a he's a can damage. Not the best. Jane would be better. But so swapping Oh, Diablo just wanted to die. Okay. Good job, Artanis. That wasn't really him, that was Diablo being stupid. <laughs> well done, false dead. What the hell was that? Moving on, Artanis right now is a good solo laner. He really should not be in the middle with the three man. His shield provides him a lot of sustain. For those who don't know Artanis, his his passive allows him to uh, get a, get a shield that's about 15% of his of his mat's health at HP above 75%. So when you are Artanis, you spend most of your time at HP below 75%. This way, you constantly get to shield. You constantly get to trigger the shield. Oh, a very nice uh, reveal of the Zeratul. He, he got body blocked and he actually called it. He actually saw that. But, yeah. His trait is to get a shield at once he's below 75%. Makes him really, really tanky and kind of indestructible. And that this, the cooldown for his shield is reduced. It's an opportunity to get a swap on Rainer. Swap on Rainer. The E is up. There we go. That's a kill. That unfortunately didn't work out too well. At level 7, he'll get a talent with some uh, better able to uh, get that kill. With the Varian dead, just time to back up. Artanis is out of mana. False dead can't really help too much. His nuke is essentially lost. He should focus elsewhere. So, right there, that was the problem of two tanks trying to cap a nuke. Two tanks with very low damage, especially if Varian's terrible before 10. And so they should have actually focused more on just poking it and preventing the cap of it rather than going for a, an actual capture. This is a great swap opportunity. Good body block. Well done. That someone bought probably should be Artanis. Artanis would do very well. Yeah, in the chat, Jaina said someone bought. Artanis being a great solo laner, needs to be there. Here's a little bit of a, a little bit of nuke knowledge. When you have a nuke before 10, 
you almost always use it on the walls and on the towers. You want to get all the XP from that. And most importantly, you want to destroy that well. After, after level 10, or in general, whenever you see a fort that already has its walls down, never use a nuke on it. It's going to be a waste of the nuke. Just attack it and then use the nuke on the wall for the uh, for the keep. Here we have our Tannis. Like I said, a solo laner still being with the pack. Varian also is a semi-solo laner. They really should be splitting up. I would much rather prefer to have the Jaina with the Artanis, someone to actually combo with the swap into the roots, into the slow, and put Varian in the solo. But that's a minor thing. It is, it is Silver Hero League. And you have to use bets. There's a strange rotation happening here. They're gonna stop soaking mid lane. <laughs> this is a mistake. You're watching everything happening in slow motion essentially. Because they went four man, and they're not actually getting much value off it. There's no pick. You can't really pick a, a monk. It's not with Artanis. And now it's a four man rotate back to middle. Okay, they may get a pick here if this swap is good. What the hell's nice? Well, since Artanis seems to want to go for a gang squad, he falls ahead and fly back to bottom, and then continue their uh, their pressure. So let's talk, talk about talents. At level 4, you can see that our chance for Phase Bulwark. It's where he gets more shield at low health. That's part of his indestructible character, and it's very good at Silver League. Because people tend to think, oh, he's almost dead. Let's get him. Then he has this giant shield that's about you know, another 30% of his max health. And it's very, very tempting for new players to want to kill him. And he really has this sort of... I don't know, un unstoppable zealot sort of feel to him. He just keeps attacking, attacking, reduces the cooldown on his on his trait, and then he keeps attacking and he keeps on resetting it. It's a very fun and spammable uh, playstyle, provided that the, the enemy team lacks focus damage. And you see the enemy team, they don't have focus damage very much. Rainer is, yes, but Zebo kind of just throws spiders out. And yeah, the enemy team the enemy isn't very focused. The Rainer can single target Artanis, so that's kind of to your effect. And Nazebo is rather diffuse with his spiders. Nice swap there. Well done. Yeah, in Artanis versus Monk trade, Artanis wins every day. Just the Artanis sustain is crazy good. And that's why he is a good solo laner. <laughs> but there aren't Nazebo trolls happening. This is a case of where Artanis needs the zone, and Malfurion needs the cap. It's not the job of uh, Malfurion to zone, his damage is too poor. You can't punish the Nazebo. The Talons, he, at level 7, he got the the, uh, the Graviton Vortex. Sorry, he got the, uh, the E talent, where his, sorry, he has Warp Sickness at 7, where he is able to have a slow after he swaps him with. It's probably his best talent at 7, I always recommend it. However, it usually implies you're going to go for a E talent at level 13, which is Graviton Vortex, which gives you more swaps at lower cooldowns. You also have to pull two heroes in. And here's where we're seeing that uh, trait do its work, and where he's able to proc his shields over and over again and stay alive at low health. <laughs> uh, oh, why'd you... No! <laughs> All I had to do was not mount. The Zebo couldn't catch him. Oh well. It happens. In terms of, of his heroic, he actually got the blind, which is a very good choice here. The Rainer, when blinded, does no damage. The Zeratul does no damage. Who does a lot of damage with auto-attack and his crits. It's by far the better ultimate. Another thing to remember about the blind is that it has global range. And so if you see this this team fight happening, say, you know, in the middle here, you could res and blind this area to keep this variant alive. Oh, and yes, he, he casts it. That's probably gonna win the team fight. Well done, Zareth. Well done, Artanis. There's a swap opportunity happening right here. Ah, so those who don't really know. 
the Q into the swap is how you almost always do it. It gives you a huge range and it's very, very obnoxious to swap someone from really far away. That should be the default way to use it and really, and really sort of abuse that range and that sort of gap closing. And if you want to have some fun with it, you can also drill Artanis and Stitches and do combo the swap into the hook to displace the hero like, you know, two screens away. There's also a video of that. It's really fun. With the map starting to open up now, teams should start to push or start, start to pressure bosses. If Artanis had amateur opponent at level 1, this boss would be much, 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 much easier. However, he went for morale attack damage, and it's not going too well. He only has 21 stats at level 13. It's not providing as much damage as the amateur opponent would. But with Artanis's trait, he can almost solo a boss, but not really that well. He needs a little bit of help. This sustain is pretty ridiculous. So when you when, you're, when you like this, you see that you can just cap you can just cap sight. You almost always should. It takes you a minute every time to provide you, it provides it removes the enemy's information so much. And as a tank, it is your job to go out go out stick your neck out and naturally be vulnerable to get those cap points so your swishies have sight when they roam. There are two uh, newts here, there's a top and a bottom. Since the red team has the global, you'd expect to have Falstad uh, up top to somewhat poke it safely, if possible. Oh, Artanis, you gotta hit that, hit that, hit that Q into E. That's your way to slow him. You learned the talent for that reason. At level 13, we see that Artanis went for the uh, triple strike. Not a bad talent. It's mostly there to kill tanks. Since doing triple strike, you kind of have to go Titan Killer at 16. But it's usually used versus tanks, and having it versus only a single tank team, it loses a lot of value. This is really a better opportunity for Artanis to go into the 13 Graviton Vortrets to give you two swaps, I mean two targets swapped, and have at 16 you have the uh, Psionic Wound, giving you a vulnerable every three seconds on your W. This I don't I don't encourage. <laughs> They're a man down taking top boss. This is very dangerous if they get scouted out. Fortunately, the enemy team is nowhere near them, but this is still extremely dangerous. But it does highlight the fact that Artanis can really tank this boss very easily with his uh, with his shield. He's hardly lo hardly losing any health at all. Can't say. <laughs> so right there, you can't really blind the boss. That was a waste of an ultimate. But hey, people don't know this, so now you know. Don't blind bosses, you can't do it. Well, yes, you can do it, but it does almost no damage. It's literally a waste. With top boss, this should signify the rotation down to bottom. Artanis being the tank, get that sight. Okay, ignore, ignore that. This is an opportunity to get middle boss, so the top team has to respond to that. All five of them should be going there, or go for the go for the gank because two of the enemy teams are picked up. This is where the initiation of Artanis comes into play. With the man down, it screams boss time. Artanis being the tank should lead the charge. Stop clearing the minions and just take that boss. You have 30 seconds, guys. Especially with Nazebo showing top, and Diablo and Terzim showing middle, this should be an easy cap. A little bit of a, you know, Setsy Micro for Artanis versus bosses. A lot of the bosses have slam stuns. And you could very easily time your Q with the, uh, the slam stun to avoid it. This is a good fight for the red team. They're fighting with the, uh, with the man up. That's why they won. Good fight for the ally team. So if our chance were to just land some swaps, it'd be their game easily. With the boss pushing, this should be an opportunity to grab the newts and push really hard. Art being the only guy middle, take the newt, drop it middle, then grab the next newt middle, and then, well, drop the that newt bottom. When you're holding a newt, Artanis, you can only hold one. Alright. 
drop the nuke. Just get rid of it so you can. No, don't don't do this. Don't do that. <laughs> this is a bit of disorganization. People not not knowing where to be. Clearing lanes when you have boss pushing and holding a nuke and one nuke available is a wasted opportunity. I like the idea here of dropping the nuke on the wall. It's going to help the boss push a lot. Though, when you do have nukes, typically, you just want to always want to have the nuke fire on the keep. Securing keeps. He just blind the forts? He just blinded the forts. Okay. <laughs> So in order to launch. That was weird. <laughs> you don't have to be this deep in order to drop a nuke, guys. If you if all you have to do is aim the nuke to have a little bit of the perimeter, hit the hit the keep and you're okay. Or if you want to get that close, at least drop the center on the on the keep. This way you get a 50% bonus damage of the center. That's that's just a bit, a bit of, of nuke micro that has to be improved right there, of knowing where to put it. With talents being equal and them kind of just being a little bit back on wave push, the opportunity to get, get camps. The opportunity. This Diablo should die. <laughs> well done, guys. That was not caused by their attacks at all. He just kind of joined in a gangbang. He was fifth man in. With that secured, this is an opportunity to push top really hard with the, with the Merc Camp. If they can see the boss timer, which is probably coming up pretty soon, it's also a boss opportunity. But having 20 advantage, two men down, a camp, this should be a top keep pretty easily. Yeah. One thing to know is that amateur opponent is also fantastic for sieging. You do a lot of damage when you have uh, amateur opponent hitting structures. <laughs> And this here is a case of where the hell are you going, Artanis? Jeremy, you are the tank. It's your job to be first in, last out. If he's running for the fences from a Rainer ultimate, that's a really bad sign. Especially since you have the most, essentially, he has the most sustain. With false head flying out, it's an opportunity to get out of there. Or get a Rainer gank. Nope. Too late now. Nice. This so Artanis with his, with his with his talents could actually fight this. He has my fear in behind him. Never mind. <laughs> Those two v three. But if it was just Zeratul and Diablo versus Artanis and, and Malfurion, Artanis could actually do a lot of damage to the Diablo. Prepare for warhead deployment. Yeah. Okay. Team's down, clear lanes, varying back up. This is an opportunity to, to well, get some free SP. With the enemy team pushing middle, it's varying should probably back up and try to get ready for the defense once Janet responds. Or he goes for the <laughs> the nuke. But right on the minimap, might just die to Zeratul. <laughs> oh, this is cute. If you're going to try this, at least put position yourself on top of the, uh, the nuke. This way you're not so close to the smoke to he melee you. Oh, there's fly on the Falstad. This to be a death. If Artanis is up, he could go for this blind to help this uh, help this out. Oh, that was well, that wasn't punished, fortunately. <laughs> uh, good bait there on the false dad. Artanis is back. This is an opportunity for a swap. I forgot to mention, Artanis is very good just because. He can actually swap someone who's trying to cap a nuke. So in case of here, if they were to cap that middle middle nuke, and they don't have sight above the structure, you can actually swap them over the structure. 
It's a great opportunity to get a, well, a free pick. Very similar to Stitch's play. is the case of whoever boss they're a man up oh yeah about the talents you can see that Artanis did over triple strike he and the titan killer he's kind of a must that's good, good on his part at 20 he went nexus blades <laughs> so he's doing full auto attack granted this is a you know 20 minute game and he finally got season marksman stats done it shows you how little value the uh season marksman's getting the team's traded bosses. This opportunity for the team to just try to get bottom keep. Just as an aside, everyone, we need to appreciate the Rainer build here. He went full Q build. I've never even seen Rainer's Q talents. Wow. Okay. I guess you really wanted the pushback. Well, aside for the. Oh, he's blinding creeps. <laughs> oh, he's, he's consistent. Yeah, this Artanis is getting carried. But, as you saw, the Artanis should have gotten, gotten the sight in the middle. He didn't. Someone else did for him. It was just kind of a waste. Top boss is the right call. Rainer's down. And Artanis can easily, uh, easily tank this boss. It's also one of the lowest damaging bosses in the game because most of the damage comes from the little uh, termites, the little zerglings that come out when they explode. If you just marine walk around them, they deal absolutely no damage to you. And the boss is not auto-attacking. Oh, wow. The enemy team is fighting for a capped boss. This, this should be win time. This is played right. Okay, Malfurion's still up. It's, it's a 4-5. Oh, never mind. It's 4-5. Yeah. The false that unfortunately, got picked off. Once again, get the sight. With the boss being pushed, they should grab the top nudes first. So that is the lane that's closest to the enemy team. And from this, you can see that once you grab a nuke, drop one mid, it'll kill it. Drop one bottom. Bam, two teeps down. So our tan is good. Just join the middle. Put the center of the nuke right on the keep, and it will just explode. Oh. No! <laughs> he went for tower damage. Wait, wait. No! They wasted three nukes on a dead keep. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's probably going to get them killed. Yeah. So this is but this is more nuke micro than just tank micro. Okay, this variant's probably gonna die unless you get a roots save this root to help him. Okay. Where's the root, Malfurion? Uh Well said Artanis. Should have hit three keeps and then used two warheads on it. Yep. This might be GG. Alert. Your call is well, look they have the false dead gust and maybe able to survive this. Nice gust on the false dead. You gust all the damage dealers away during the uh, team fight. This still, however, might be game just because it's a 5e2 with very little DPS on this team. Yeah, the false dead in my friend just can't beat the numbers, especially with the Rainer auto attack damage. Okay, and so that's game. Let's talk about what had been improved. During this entire game, there's not one Artanis swap into... Sorry, there's never one Q into E combo out of the Artanis. It must have been a new player, not another combo, but that is the whole core of his ability to displace heroes. Yes, he does decent damage. Yes, he has a lot of sustain, but it's your job to just make plays. And he provided none of those. It was mostly walking around to helping the enemy team Get ganks. He was, like I said, he was the third man in the gangbang. So his goal really should have been to be on the back line and to harass the Azebos and the Rainers, especially with the blind. You can go in really deep into Rainer, blind him, be on him, and he can't touch you. 
Rainer is about a 90% auto attack damage hero. Yes, he has Q, and as hilarious as it is, Rainer went to full Q talents. So yes, it's he he built this he built a wrong to counter Artanis. That, that's besides the point. Artanis' goal should be should be on the back line and pressuring them to back up. He didn't, and he didn't really accomplish much in the game. His blinds were constantly used on creeps or even a boss for that one time, and that's just a bad use of a cooldown. More, more importantly, amateur opponent at level 1 is a fantastic ability. It stood for said getting camps, clearing camps, getting bosses. It's probably his best level talent most of the time. Block would have been an okay choice because their main damage dealer was a Rainer, and that would have also been an acceptable decision, but that wasn't fit either. So from Artanis, once again, to the recap, his goal is to be in the back line and then use all that sustain that he has or to make the, the basically the hook or the swap to displace a hero and get an isolation kill. Neither of those really performed. This team still did well, but he still could have, could have played a lot better.